90s versus 2000s type of vibe back with another another one you guys my bad I slipped up right there but I don't give a damn we keep it all all right 90s versus 2000s type of vibe we getting down again with another episode in this episode right here we are talking about the ladies in hip hop all right We've done every single show about the males in hip hop. So lately, we we have been getting uh some requests, or at least been getting hitting up on our Instagram and our Facebooks and our social medias, saying you guys haven't been talking about the females in hip hop. So on this episode, people, we will be talking about the females and and also another uh topic that we will we will be talking about in terms of the Grammys and what we're down or what's going to go well at least. Our forecast on what we think will be going down with the Grammys and whatnot. But again, 90s versus 2000 type of vibe again. Another episode, guys. So let me start off. Uh, let me start this one off real quick because I'm going to say my favorite rapper, my favorite female rapper of all time, right, is The Brat. All right. And I. I it's actually, a good one. Actually, good one. Um, I, I mean, and you know what? It's kind of kind of difficult for me, but I think she's just the best one in terms of. Lyrically? Lyrically. You got me there. You got me there. Took the words right out of my mouth. So, so, you telling me she literally better than Foxy Brown? I knew you were going there. I, but, you, but you didn't give me a chance to, you know what I'm yeah. saying, to say it first. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, so I do think, like, Foxy's great. I think Shauna's a beast. God, people forget about Shauna, you know what I'm saying, with DTP. Like, Shauna, no, lyrically, Shauna. she's an animal, you I know what I'm saying? Shauna. But, um, I, 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 you know, and I Little Kim Shauna. was the first one to kind of give you that raw... Raw, uncut female lyrics, you know, like I don't give a damn. I'm, I'm gonna talk about how much I love, you know, money and a little cow? And yeah, yeah, she, you know, she was the first one to kind of get explicit, explicit with it. So look, now, I ain't saying the first. I ain't gonna say the first. I mean, you. I mean, mm, oh. no, nah, I know why I say that because it was a group <laughs> called BWP. They were like the female NWA. BWP stands for bitches with problems, and bitches talk about problems. They were talking about finessing, you know what I'm saying, cats back then. The same shit that girls, Little man. Kim, Foxy, I mean, and all I'm talking yeah. about, BWP was saying it first. But one thing I could say about Little Kim, she brought sexy shit to another level when she popped up on the scene. Because when I first heard her on uh, Player's Anthem, she sounded rough. So I thought it was a, a chick with like some fatigue pants on. But then when I seen her, I was like, damn, yo, she I right. Actually, she more not, yo, yo, Lil' Kim was sexy as hell. Yeah, she was sexy as hell. But now, would you say she was first mainstream with that style, dog? Because a lot of people w won't know about the group you just mentioned. Um, but a lot of people know Lil' Kim. As far as, like, Lil that Kim. level of sexy, mainstream? Well, uh, the, the whole, like, you know, well, uh, yeah, so you can say she probably made it the explicitness a little bit more... Uh, I guess acceptable. Some people might say something. Cause, cause what? I, I, what I, I about MC Light? You know what I mean? I hip hop seemed like, well, females seemed a little more tomboyish back then. I could be now wrong. Now salt and pepper though. No, salt and pepper, they can finesse that shit. You know. You right with that, y'all. You I right. Love, I I, I'm not pepper, gonna front. Uh, I ain't pushing all three. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I ain't gonna front. I ain't gonna front. Shoop and what a man. But I, I, what's, I, I, I hate shoop. Like I hate shoop. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I hate shoop. I like the video. The video was hot. <laughs> that was it. I didn't yeah, like you. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. I, and I yeah. love Salt Pepper, yo. I, I love them since I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, they've been sexy. What's her name? Sandy, that Salt, you know, uh, Pep, and Spinderella, Spinderella, yo. Yo, listen, man. <laughs> and that was like, shit, Salt Pepper, the sexiest group of all time. You think, oh, well, they're a group, right? Uh, well, hip hop wise, yes. Why, who's, yeah. gonna, who's gonna battle them wise? No female I mean, group. Yeah, JG Fat. Them. Yeah, JG Fat. I didn't really like. I wasn't really into them like that. But I'm gonna say lyrically, I think my favorite favorite female rapper is uh, Rhapsody. Rhapsody to me is like lyrically, just to me the best as of right now. Um, female wise, I, female wise, she could definitely rap. Like she could punch all the dudes. Lyrically, I think she's dope. I mean, even about she's not necessarily mainstream, but you know, I like I like her music. All music is great. Man. I will say something right now, and I will say this with confidence. Right now, in today's hip hop, females are actually better sounding to me than the guys. Right now, for, the for female rappers right part. now, in terms of like them lyrically, in terms of like the music they making right now, yeah. I think as a whole, in totality, first of all, they've actually made a huge boom in hip hop over the last like uh, eight, whatever, ten years, so to speak. But um, Cardi B probably being the most example of like the teetering of the point when she became the first woman to, uh, what was her record she did? She sold, she became the first woman to do something in hip hop. 
With Bodak that. Yellow? Um, yeah, I know that single. I love Cardi too, man. I love, I love single. I love cardio. You know what I'm saying? I love Cardi personality. I can listen to Cardi. I can listen to Cardi all day. You know what I'm saying? I, mean, I can listen to Cardi. Um, but I think right now, female, females right now in hip hop, and I've been saying this, that right now, the female game in, the, in hip hop is a tad bit stronger than the male game in hip hop right now. I don't well, know about I that one. I, think, I mean, you know what? I think it has a lot to do with, though, because, like, this is why. And it's a lot yeah. to do with it. Music right now is being streamed a lot through, like, social media. And, like, you got dance songs. So, that, so TikTok has, of course, pushed female rap because a lot of females are on TikTok doing whatever. There's a lot of reels. And I think that's a lot to do with it. Um, but also, they are very talented. But just the way, I guess, like, media is shifting, if you... If women, I think, like your product or what you put out, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's more likely to end up on social media, and then it's in, it has a way of blowing up better, better. Like, also, people are taking, like, like, like lyrics and making them the captions. So, that has a lot to do with it, you know, uh, regarding, like, girls. So, basically, more marketing is basically, uh, could be a reason why, you know, you would, the, you would, if you did agree, why a female game would be a little bit more stronger right now than the I, male game. I think so, too. I mean, marketing, uh, mm, regarding, like, I don't know about that one. Yo, even back in the day, I think, to a certain extent, women did, like, like, they did give you, uh, create what's popular. Tupac had that line when he said, like, yo, if you make songs with the, for the women, the girls are going to rock with it because the girls, uh, like, and men like but, girls. But, but, but hold on. I, I want to say one thing, man. I don't want to make it about the fellas versus the females. Fuck that. Because we just paying homage to the ladies. So I don't even want to say, uh, I don't even want to do that. You don't got to edit that part what I just said, but I just want to make that clear. I'm not saying, um, the fellas better than the ladies. We just paying homage to the, to the ladies, period, in this shit. But I can't say this. Back to our conversation before camera. Lyric, I love I love Lil' Kim. But lyrically, I think Foxy Brown was better. No, I know Foxy Brown was better. I'm not saying by a landslide, but lyrically, Foxy still got one of the most talked about verses in hip hop history. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That affirmative action. Yeah, affirmative that action, affirmative right. action verse. You know? Like, they still trying to calculate this shit right now. You get what I'm saying? Divide the profit by four, subtract it by eight, we back to 16, and add the other two, then make them bring it through. Y'all know the rest. Google it. Foxy Brown's verse. People still trying to calculate it. So, I got to go with Foxy with, with that one. And as far as right now, lyrically, yo, listen, man. Uh, I can't forget about Remy. Remy. Remy, a beast. Remy B. Correct. I like Remy. I like Remy's style. But yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think that Remy has a commonality to her that basically, you know, like she's good, but I don't really see anything that kind of like, I don't want to say I don't see anything that because she is good, but that stands out for me about her. Like she, she's a good rapper. You know what I mean? I see, Remy you know, is raw, man. Like Remy. And it's probably like the, um, the contradictive part for me that, you know, where I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm like, well, I'm not seeing too much more than. You know her being as good as she is, cause she is good, but it's not nothing that Remy's I haven't, shit, I haven't seen. Before. I'm not gonna say it like she like okay mediocre, you know. What's and the, I'm not like gassing it, but, but you know Remy's what's that shit, man. This who stands out to me right now, Amani Caesar, Amani Caesar from Griselda stands out to me right now. She's definitely nice. Somebody right now, right the, now. the new chicks. Amani nah, Caesar. She's tough. Nah, nah, she's that's nice. not Griselda. Yes, it is Griselda. Nah, Amani you know what? That is Griselda. Amani what's the Caesar girl that's down with um 38 Special? I'm not sure. She's tough. And another chick that's that's I think is the next to take it. Yo, the 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 female rapper that's next to take it is Lady London, bro. Nigga, she got bars. Oh, I've heard nigga, it. Nigga, nigga, yeah, she heard ready, bro. Yo, bro, she's ready. She's ready to take this shit over. We'll Real see. Shit. We'll oh, see. Oh no, we witnessing it right now, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Who? No. I mean, like right now? No, no, no. Right now, who's top? No. I don't want to even say because right now the the top rappers right now there is no such thing as a top rapper right now. It's just so kind of like so top it's a, not it's right a, now, it's yo. A rotating crown. Yeah, yeah. No, it is. Media media moves fast. It's like you, too fast you, you, nowadays. You be hot for like a month and, next and that's month, it. Somebody else. That's it yeah, nowadays. But, but in terms of people that put it down, nigga, and I can't forget Nikki, nigga. Yeah, besides her being sexy and she was down with um with Young Money and and and, and Wayne and and, and, and Drake. Bruh, Nikki, 
is a problem. I say that because I've been following Nikki since the mixtape days. The DVD when she was on the Come Up DVD, when she was down with Fendi. Fire. She was just like, you know, getting better and better. And next you know, Wayne Sonda, and she hasn't looked back since. And I was kind of upset when, you know, her and Kim went at it because it wasn't a battle bad like I wanted to. Like when she came at Kim, I'm like, ah oh, shit, you done woke up Kim. But Kim didn't respond as tough as I wanted to be. I'd rather have had an original beat than, than that uh, mixtape beat. We talked about it some last episode, a few episodes ago. But listen, I gotta, I gotta pay homage to Nicki, man. Nicki put it down. If, if Nicki stopped rapping today, nigga, she made history. It don't even matter. You know what I do like about this era a little bit? There is more female. Like like more female rappers that like ton exist. lots more like of course. four that's why I think they kind like of dominate two at right a now time, and that was it because either like like one would like like they would have beef or whatever they'd be so competitive but like now the market's like open for almost everybody everybody yeah. can eat whereas before well, it was almost like you was allowed to have maybe two from the north two from the south maybe one I from the also west. think that they have sexualized hip hop so much that that is like contain I mean it pertains to females a lot more than obviously males and if you listen to the music a lot of it's like strip club trap music and that's and talking about the conditions and the environment inside of you know inside these clubs and whatnot and with that being said since it's being more sexualized you know obviously females are the if you want to say the targets for sexualization or at least the, the the subjects for sexualization and i think i mean i'm not saying it's a good or bad thing i'm just saying it is what it is and that you know that's part of the reason part of the reason why right now i think um females are dominating the game uh because of that factor so i don't really think it's so much you know to do with the skill and whatnot but i think they are just making more entertaining music for the point of time for the generations that are let's listening see. to it now, now, now let's, let's take it back to history trina yeah. Mm -hmm. Trina, Trina, she could say she was the queen of the South. Mm -hmm. Real yeah, shit. Trina, yeah. right? You had Trina. The brat. You had the brat, the tat tat. Mm -hmm. Brat, to me, had the best part literally on that Total remix. Remember uh, Total with um, with Foxy Brown, Little Kim, and Brat? Mm -hmm. I thought the brat killed it. No, I know the brat killed it, right? And you know, you got to be tough if you, if, if you, if you, uh, Rocking with Foxy and Little Kim back then, you know, a, a hungry Foxy and, and and Little Kim. So I gotta give it to I gotta give it to Brad. Um, who else we missing? That actually that 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 put it down. Oh, Missy. oh no, Missy, Missy, no, yo, but I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. Yeah. Um, Missy Ellis, you got Missy, entertaining artist, right? period, ever. You got you got uh you got Eve, nigga Eve. Listen, Queen of the Rough Riders. She put it down. Yeah. What? Um. Is one person I want to mention, right? I want to mention. Now, this is something new that, remember what we were talking about before, every time we have an um, a, a, a episode now, we're going to pay homage to that one person, right? So I just want to pay homage to Queen Latifah. Check it out. Latifah, she's been putting it down since day one. She was actually behind the scenes on a lot of things. She brought out Naughty. She created Flavor Unit. She was actually in the TV business back then. She was a, a, a female that represents how you can convert yourself into the business part, you know, of the industry. And she did it at a young age, actually early in her career. So you gotta pay homage, nigga. She put Jersey down, bro. You feel me? She, she put it down for Jersey. Correct. Know? So. I mean, Queen Latifah is always going to be in the conversation in terms absolutely. of like female artists and female is in hip hop, yeah, which is our focus like, right now. Think about like she might be one of the people that like set the groundwork for like having a career after hip hop, because after she stopped rapping, she she, she did TV, she did movies, she like she took her her career and like blew it up and just made it. As she big really as started she before never she stopped. stopped rapping. I'm be honest, she was she was you think about it right? Or her, her TV career started in the early '90s. And she was still way. popping in the early 90s. You know, she had you and ITY back then. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Just Another Day. What was her first Bringing out Living, sing living Single? The first uh, single? Yeah, her first yeah, single. Living sing Single. Oh, and, uh, also, she was in, uh, what's it called? House Party. House yeah. Party mm -hmm. 2. Yeah. yeah, yeah, House Party 2. Fresh mm -hmm. Prince. And that's but her first sitcom was... 
Like I think it was living. You could single. call single. I want to say like see if it's a female Ice Cube, but far as like someone from hip hop back then that took it there in the business side and and specifically the the film business side. Latifa, man. And she's behind one of my um the movie I like with Cameron. Uh, what, what's it was it with the, with the credit card scam? I like oh, that. Yeah, movie. That shit was funny as hell. That yeah. shit was a good movie. Cameron yeah. always some some, 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 some <laughs> shit. Like 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 yeah. I I believe she was she was with, uh, a part of that, wasn't she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Flavor unit, yeah. So I'm saying so like who who are we who are we talking about here? Who do we mention here? I know we mentioned and I'll rank them. I, mean, I won't even rank them, but I'll mention like my no in terms of like my first wins that I think about. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that would be my first one would be the brat. I think about Shauna a lot, you know what I'm saying, and female rappers. I think about um, Lil' Kim, obviously, a lot. Um, yeah, I think about Foxy, too. Foxy's an animal a lot. You know, I think of MC Light. I can't front. I, 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 I listen to a lot of listen, MC Light, yo. They can't fuck with Light, yo. Listen, yeah, Light, Light, yeah. Was, Light was the first female. I knew that was in a battle back then. She, she Like, uh, MC Light to me. back then. Like cha 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 was a response to somebody. Uh you you know her name. Uh, nah, hell, nah, nah. Oh no, 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 no. Wait a minute. Let me stop right there. No, the first. She was the battle. No, the first battle was actually Shantae, and she battled grown men as a teenager by herself before Juice Crew. So you gotta give it to Shantae. Got to. You got to. Okay. Got to. Okay, but um. Uh, so I mean, y y we can keep going. I'm guessing some, you know, in terms of female but, rappers, but, but like, definitely, I mean, MC well, Light. she's one that everyone would recognize and know. You know what I mean? Say, uh, yeah. You got to make. Now they gonna recognize. Hey, listen, no, no, don't get it twisted. You said like they won't recognize, bro. Everybody know who Shantae is, bro. Everybody Do they? Knows. I didn't know who she was. Oh, you, so you terrible. Said, Wait, how about that? Yeah. You know I say that. How you not know Roxanne? So, oh, Roxanne, my Roxanne, bad. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yes. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Right. Shot Roxanne right. Shantae, man. Okay, my I bad. Roxanne yeah. Shantae. I, I, I was like, rap, I don't know I'm who the hell person. that was. I was going to say, yeah. we also got to show love to like Lauren Hill, Rod Digger. Lauren Hill, Rod Digger. Nigga, Jersey, nigga. Out of New Jersey. Rod Digger was good. Rod Digger was nice. But I put Rod Digger in there with. Who named me if Flip Mode was better than Rod Digger? What? Hey, Buster, maybe? I'm not talking about Buster, man. Come on. Oh, other than Buster? Uh, nobody. Uh, nobody. Who was Baby Sham? Baby Sham was better. 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 Baby Sham. And he didn't get enough on it. Baby he didn't Sam get enough on it. Yo, he, he, he can. I say, he, can. I say he was right underneath by right there. Exactly. Like, like well, fine. No, he, he he on some OD stuff right now. He can't do it. All right. If, 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 if and he not can. take us off from because the Jersey shit, but lyrically, in that flip mode, because a lot of time a cat had to have a crew and the female be the best lyrically. Uh, Biggie had Lil Kim. Yeah. Nigga Buster had Rod Digger. Yep. Yeah. You get what I'm saying. And the firm, everybody was lyrical. So Foxy had to go ahead. Fat Joe had a, uh, uh, yeah, my, uh, Remy. 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 And I put Remy and my homegirl kind of in the same category. Nah, know why? Rod Digger no, and Remy, Remy kind of the same to me. But Remy's different. Know why? Why? Because they had punk. Nah, man, no. Remy, Remy, and Rod Digger. I'm not talking about nobody else about as an say, extension. Yeah, Terror Squad? Punk. <laughs> yeah, okay. Then That's Remy. what's up. That's what's up. And Cube Link was a problem, too. You know? Yeah, yeah, I gotta give you that too. They were was a problem. They were yo. tough. Was, <laughs> they were tough. I ain't gonna lie, I was hoping you know, they were tough. That whole situation had um I you know you also forgot like Lady of Rage. Lady of Rage was nice to I rock rough and stuff with my Afro puffs. I get it, yo know I'm saying. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah. Yo, that shit came out, she was tough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that right yeah, there. but then you know, but, but but boss lady, what's in boss boss lady? Um she oh, was on oh. Minister Society joint. Oh, I know you're talking oh, about. Oh my god, yeah, about. but I forgot her name. Yo, she was yo, hard as hit yo, too. Yo yo. Yo-Yo's a love, beast. Yo, yo, good yo, yo, joint. Yo, yo, oh my bro. god, my bad, yo, my bad. My yo, bad. Yo-Yo <laughs> yo, yo started acting on Martin every every yo. once in a while. You she know was what I'm that little sexy chick, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Burn out. She let uh she was yeah, yo, she yo. that shit, man. Yo-yo. Can't yo. play with my yo-yo. Yeah, yo. Don't try to play me out. Don't try to play me out. Damn. Yeah, there's so many yeah. of them that we forgot. I, mean, I don't want to say we forgot about, but didn't really, like, you know, put forefront to mention. I, I would say mention Mia X. Mia X was dope. No and Limit. Also, yeah, you know, no, no, uh, no Limit had they, uh, What's you know. the girl from uh, Three Seasons Mafia? Gangsta Boo. Gangsta Boo. Gangsta Boo. Yeah, uh, Gangsta Boo and the chat.
Mm -hmm. The chat was more Project Pat. That's what I remember her first with the song Project Pat. Correct. Correct. You know? Correct. But I would say, and, look. And, and what, about, <coughs> what about now? Who's the godmother? Who's the godmother? Nigga. Of hip hop. Latifah, nigga. Latifah, who? The godmother of female hip-hop? Yeah. I, I don't know. Nigga, Latifah ain't nothing to get Because he got it, yo. Queen Latifah, what you mean? Queen, I mean like, was she the first female rapper? Listen, she called herself Queen and, 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 and over 20 to 30 years later, she lived up to that shit. Nigga, the Queen, nigga. Queen Latifah. Listen, you can't mention hip-hop and say the Queen and the first person you think about is Latifah. Think I got you. It. Yeah, I got you. Right? I got you. Now, when it comes to the King, it's a whole bunch of motherfuckers. Right? Right, correct, like, correct. It's undebatable. Right, yeah, right? yeah. I mean, like, there is no definite king in hip hop. I right, can't, it's yeah. always like, oh, we talk about Hov, Nas, Big. Yeah, pop. yeah, yeah, yeah. But when it comes to hip hop, you say queen, you think of one person. That's a good argument, y'all. I mean, yeah, Queen Latifah. So Queen Latifah, you you you, yeah. you agree with that? I really can't attest to it. Uh, That's the issue. <laughs> you That's the issue, but it is no. right there. Like, they, there really is no argument for it. You know what I mean? Like, she is who she is. She's been there for a long time. All her credits and. All of her albums and all, it's like, you know, like, it, was she the most talented? No, but she is the godmother because she did the most and she was successful the longest. And what about in today's, you forgot to mention, like, like y'all said Rhapsody, I'm going to tell you who is also a problem. Young and May. Yes, Young and May I love Young and May. Y'all saw my, look. Yo. Y'all need 90s versus 2000 was, I made up a versus, all right? And I put, well, we put it up there as... Young M.A. versus the brat. Ah, oh, that was crazy. And that and I said, crazy. obviously, you, you guys already, I already told you <laughs> who my first person was. I said the best one I, I ever know. I think is number one is the brat. And no, and but you no, know, uh, uh, people like Young M.A. too. And I can definitely one hundred percent see that. I, I like Young M.A. Man. I can one hundred percent see that. As fuck man, straight up. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't think it's a landslide. I don't think the brat crushes her, but I do think the brat has a little bit of, of a different gear. All right. I know people say, "Why the fuck are they comparing them to?" That's what people. If, if, That's if, what I was thinking at first. Because people watching this and, and, and they're saying that. Yeah. But if you listen to them rap, era, yo. For this era, <laughs> if you you want to see, say the the top female MCs, you said Rhapsody. All right. Rhapsody. Young M A. You get right. what I'm saying? Young M A. Don't forget, mommy. That's down with uh, Joel Ortiz in them. So. I'm about to say, oh yeah, uh, Nitty Scott. I love Nitty she Scott, problem, and I love uh, Snow the Product. If you ever heard her, Snow rap, the Product Snow is product a beast is too, dog. Freaking nice. Yeah, oh, Snow the Product God. is bad, but there's some other ones out there, y'all. Because uh, I'm telling you right now, this is why I'm saying this. There's some female rappers out there right now, right? And I, I'm a DJ, so you know I've been listening to them. I've been listening to female rappers who haven't even came out yet. All right, Snow the Product was somebody who I caught last year randomly. And this is somebody who I'm just like my ear caught her, <laughs> not my not not my eyes. My ear caught Snow the product. That bitch is hard, called. She can rap. Snow the product can rip. All what right. About, what about? And I know we 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 were, we were mostly mentioning rappers, right? Yeah. But what about women in general who made impact in hip hop? Now, I want to say one. Mary. Mary who? Nigga, it's only one Mary. J. Blige. Oh, come, come on, stop. Mo, we want to say Monet from, from, from Ghost. I'm just, I didn't know we were going R and B. No, hip hop, hip hop in general. She is, but I think he probably, he probably she might be like R and B. She did rap on What's the Four One. I'm yeah, never, yeah, okay, oh yeah, I got that. Yeah, I'm not gonna call. I'm not gonna call. I will never call Mary a rapper. But far as hip hop, a, a female that made an impact in hip hop, you gotta say Mary, bro. You gotta say why? 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 Do the history. First of all, I am. She was an R&B all, singer. First of all, a lot of the top hip hop songs had Mary on it. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucking shit with Jigga, shit with Nas, shit with motherfucking X, shit with the Locks, and the list goes on. So, Grand Poobah set that what, shit off. What, what, what was I gonna say? Like, you know what I mean? Grand Poobah and, 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 and the vibe she had back then. Let me say something. Real quick, real quick, real quick. I agree. The vibe she had back then. First of all, when Puff, Puff was a uh, uh, Puff was like a fucking architect for that. A pioneer for hip hop R and B. He brought out Jodeci, right? And he brought out Mary. You get what I'm saying? I hear so what you're saying. How, yeah. That's your answer. So but, I mean, basically, her, uh, her integration within the hip hop, hip -hop her voice, yeah, her style, her style. I, like, I, like bro. The, I, like I mean, what? Like, I mean, whatever. I mean, whatever. But you, you just said she integrated her style, which yeah. is R and B, into hip hop. That became like a, a, like a signature for her. Cause she sang like, a lot of hooks, right? Well, not like that. Like if you listen to like her first few albums, like it, it didn't sound like at that time. 
R and B this like that. It was a huge like mesh. She mixed both of them. You know what I'm saying? Like I think I bought I bought what well, I bought what's the four one one. I bought a, a, a you remind me and shit. And those. those are fucking R and B motherfucking tracks, yeah, yo. That shit got all right. <laughs> what's the four one one hip hop culture? Okay, you know all right. What I'm saying, what I'm uh, saying? Uh, you remind me is not. Boom, 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 boom. Like, yeah, you real love. Uh, that people, shit is an R and B track. A lot of people don't realize it's that hip hop R and B though, bro. Okay. A lot of people don't realize that they she all had had hip hop remixes too. A lot of people don't realize that who shot you. She was hey. played on the Mary J. Blige intro with Keith Murray. Yeah. That, that never, never came out, but yeah. it was in the background. Yeah. Like, a lot of people keep thinking that, you know, Biggie was dissing Tupac, but he wasn't. Nah. That was on Mary J. Blige's intro. Before that I was happened. already recorded before it even happened. Yeah. Okay. But Tupac ain't tell us that. I understand this, but I'm just saying. I I'm, I know a lot of integrated, I mean, like, R&B people who kind of, like, integrated a lot into hip-hop as well. But I just wouldn't... Nah, exactly Mary, say Mary, that they Mary influenced it though. it's not like when you when you first saw mary you seen the video you heard the song and you just like yo she she's definitely she can be from my hood you about the drum the, 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 the okay. drums her style no, and everything bro. those drums and those songs what what what, what, what what female r&b singer was more like street before mary exactly exactly uh, okay, exactly mary J. Blige, i'm not i mean singer. <laughs> Real talk. I mean, you know what I mean, like, but before Mary, because Mary pioneered that. Then next, you know, you had a, a Mona Lisa. You had more female R and B uh, hip hop groups like Total. If it wasn't for Mary, it wouldn't be a Total and and, and chicks that's like they R and B, but they like to dance to that hip hop shit. Well, they like was, they want hip hop beats. That was Puff that kind of brought that up. Well, right? at the end of the day, I'm saying right. that women in, in general right now and their influence of hip hop, at least since. Uh, I would even go back since, you know, the beginning of, like, MC Light or whatever and Queen Latifah. It's grown so much in its popularity. And, you know, it's becoming, like, the dominant, you know, I guess you could say, genre. Uh, their kind of music in hip-hop is coming, it's becoming dominant. Gotta give a shout-out to the, the female battle rap culture. Shout-outs to Babs, because Babs is the creator of Queen of the Ring. And that shit took off. You know, shouts to, to to all the the female battle rappers, the 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 the, the, the women who 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 holds the culture down to the fullest. Like, you know, you got you got Lady Luck, you got you got Rain, Boss Chick Rain, you know, and the list goes on. You know, Correct. so shouts to all of them. But you know, shout out for sure. definitely Babs. Like like, listen, who knew Babs from from uh, making a band? Would create a platform like that, bro. Correct. I'm correct. Shout out, got it, got I'm it. Women out, doing their thing in hip hop, man. I'm gonna shout out uh, Jazz. I'm gonna shout out um, Miss Hustle. I'm gonna shout out uh, Shuni. I'm I like Shuni. Out, I like Shuni. I'm gonna like shout out Prestavia. I'm gonna shout out um, Looney Divine. I'm gonna shout out. Uh, Man, look here, dog. Gross. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of like, exactly. If you guys say it, try to go so, through your little roller dicks, nah, man. Nah, yo, this, mm -hmm. But uh, they're definitely like you know making their own way, you know. And it's a even though it's a male dominated sport, a lot of them will battle men, and you know they also battle each other. There's a lot of they they could rap. What do you consider Lauren in hip hop? Claire. What, what do you consider her? Because who? Lauren. Lauren made, who? Lauren Hill. Lauren was with the Fugees, right? She's in the same category right. with freaking Mary J. Blige with me. Um, like a I don't. Hip -hop and R nah, I, you know I, 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 I. She's in the same category. We talk about hip hop. She rapped a lot more, didn't she not? Yeah, I don't put in the same category as Mary, but she's like she's one of the people that it could be another twenty years and her name still rings bells, and she can come back whenever she feel like it, and still have an impact. It's not easy. And share that nice verse on that King's Disease 2. Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Who rapped more, Mary J. Blige or Lauryn Hill? What type of question is that, man? Stop. Who, uh, oh, I want stop. you to answer it. Go, stop. You talking about Mary was hip hop, but Lauryn Hill is more hip hop. I didn't say rap. I said hip hop. I, I, I said, said, said Lauryn Hill is more hip hop. Hip hop. But let's, let's be clear. Bruh, Mary had a street edge. Okay. I just said, I just said so, Lauryn Hill is more hip hop. Point. But that was my point. If you're watching this, Agree or disagree, Mary had a no, has a street edge. You get what I'm saying? It goes into her music. It goes into her visuals. You get what I'm saying? 
I'm yeah. talking facts. Yeah, all right. I saw so him up. That's why I want you to answer the question. But, but don't ever debate her street <laughs> credibility. Listen, I, I no love one Mary. said that. No one said. I no one debate her. I know Mary looking at it like, what this thing talk about? Yeah, yeah. You know well, what whatever. Saying? But, 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 we, we could do it face to face. You would have come on. It's all great. You know what I'm saying? We love her. <laughs> I love Mary. We Come love on. her. You know what I'm saying? Come on on the show, Mary. We can talk you know? about it. 90s versus 2000s type of vibe, man. A little quick, Jamie. All right. Al Kwan. Peace. All right. Ray. Barber. Red line behind the camera. We out. Peace.